Welcome to another video looking at ancient sources found in Pompeii. This video series is based on the National Maritime Museum's former exhibit, where most of the material was lent to the museum by the National Superintendent of Archaeology at Pompeii. So thank you to those sources. Today we want to look at body casts. These are some of the most famous artifacts that we find in Pompeii. And basically what occurred was, despite Herculaneum having a supercharged, really heated pyroclastic flow, which, which killed instantly and kind of literally burnt away the, the flesh of the victims at Herculaneum, in Pompeii, the pyroclastic flow was much less hot and therefore victims' bodies remained. And once that occurred, the fine ash which surrounded the body hardened quickly around it, creating a void once the body decomposed. Giuseppe Fiorelli, back in 1863, worked out that if he filled these cavities with plaster, you could dig away and find what the remains of the body looked like. And here we find the famous body casts of Pompeii. There's been more than 100 made, including a pig, which was found at the Villa Regina Bosco Reale. And we have also see here the copy of uh, two victims. We believe that they were uh, the embrace of a mother-daughter, and recent x-ray and CT scanning have made people realise that the bones aren't actually in the body cast. Back when this was made, probably uh, in 1914, they were found in the uh, grounds of the House of Cryptoporticus, they, they probably removed most of the bones and then put steel struts in there to hold up the cavity while the plaster was being poured in. So these body casts allow us to capture a moment in time and see what the expressions were like of those victims of Pompeii in their last moments. A very, a very poignant, interesting artifact to look at when you're thinking about the ethics of showing human remains. These aren't actually the people, but at the same time, they are. So really quite the conundrum for archaeologists and society to think about when we show the remains of these victims.